Hey guys, it's Dan Rose Probs here, and this is episode 14 of my Universal Minecraft Editor. But in this one, we're using MCC Tool Chest because we're doing the GRF file, the game rules file. And yeah, um, Oprizal P hasn't actually updated his program yet to support GRF files. So for this tutorial, we're actually using MCC Tool Chest. And it's the only way of doing it at the moment. So what you need to do is, anyway, load up the tutorial world in Minecraft, okay? Like so. And you'll get all this rubbish like normal. I'm sure you've all played on this a million times. But this isn't what, in, what is important. This is what is important, this piece of steak. And press B. This piece of steak here, and that you can see it. Now that is the custom game rules file working its magic that is that's giving you that piece of steak by magic because normally you only get that empty map don't you so what you need to do is exit and save obviously you're on your USB stick and wait for this one to load up finally it's done that took forever um, and now all we need to do guys is go on the PC okay and we'll go straight on there and I'll load up MCC tool chest and show you how this is done, okay? Let's catch you on the PC. Okay guys, so what I'm doing here is opening up Universal Minecraft Editor. Find the world that we were just on and it's always saved under tutorial, okay? And I'm only using Universal Minecraft Editor to just extract this to PC. So you want to save it to PC. I'm just going to put it on my desktop, like so. Wait for that, it's quite a big file. And we can get out of that, and then open up your Minecraft, well, the MCC tool chest. Sorry, I don't know why I called it Minecraft then. Uh, open up your save game, and you got this thing here, which is the thing we want, okay? Now, how do you get that? That's the question. Well, down here at the bottom, there's a folder you click on that one like so go on your console it will either be PS Wii U or whatever the hell you're on <laughs> I'm always on Xbox so and then this is what you want this thing yeah so you do is copy that get out of there paste this onto there that's all there easy now this is absolutely rubbish now so you can delete this save whatever you want that is that, okay? Now, all I'm going to do is quickly show you on here how you edit things. It's pretty straightforward. So say if you, you know, you were spawning, you wanted to spawn in your home base or whatever, your spawn area, you would set that to whatever, you know, your coordinates are, yeah? Pretty straightforward. The same as your player. It must match up with your level dot that, okay? So, you see here it says this, minus 15, 71, and 85. You can see all that, yeah? You go on here, minus 15, 71, 85. Okay, got it? So that's that one. And if you go down a bit further, you come to your player, okay? Which is here. Now it has to have the same coordinates as that, okay? See how it's minus 15, 71, 85. That has to be the same, okay guys? So don't make any errors because that will break it. It will crash. Another thing here, it says health and food. Now that's how much health you've got by heart. Um, 20 is the normal because you've got 20 health, basically. Uh, one heart is two. So yeah, you can set that to... Well, you can just set it to 20. It ain't going to go any further, I don't think. But the food, you can actually set to something like you know that and it will stop your saturation for ages if you want that but I don't know or you could do like a, a half heart challenge you know you could have one half Be quite funny but then this is the really important bit that I keep getting asked a million times and this is the item okay which is the piece of steak now I'm not actually connected to the internet right now but here is where you type in your IDs now I can't remember any IDs off the top of my head, I'm really sorry. Um, 
But say you wanted them to spawn in with, I don't know, a never star. You would go on the internet, type in Minecraft IDs, and you've probably seen the page before, and every item has got its own number. So, I don't know. That's steak though, 364, that's steak. You can set the quantity to whatever you want. Um, you know, you could have 16 pieces of steak if you wanted. And it says here, slot. Now, slot 10 uh, was where it was on my player, if that makes sense. So, slot 0 is actually one as well. So, slot 0 would be the first slot. It goes all the way to 9. No, it would be 8, wouldn't it? And then it goes 9 would be the map, but you can't change the map. And then 10 would be where the stake was on the tutorial world. Straightforward. This data tag is say if you wanted like um, you got a piece of wool and there's loads of colours, you would change that to I always use this as an example, 14 would be red wool. Yeah. Straightforward. And then the rest of it, guys, do not change anything because it will just break. Okay. Sorry about that. The phone was ringing. <laughs> I had to uh, answer it. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much that, guys. Um, here you can actually change the uh, cloud height as well if you're really interested in that. I don't know, maybe you're making like a horror map. You could set the clouds to whatever, 40 and have trees and stuff. I don't know. Just an idea. You can do that. You can, this is quite an important one, seed. Sometimes it will crash, okay? If you've done everything right, it will crash anyway. Sometimes I've had to go on to my level dot that, like so, find the seed, which is this one, this is random seed. Copy that and put that in your seed. Sometimes that causes a problem. What I always do though, guys, if you're gonna use this required game rules file, please make backups because Sometimes it does crash and it gets very frustrating, okay? And just one more thing, guys, just before we go, I forgot to even mention how you add this required game rules to your map, you know, your save. Um, if you go up to these top things up here, so you've got File, Edit, Tools, and Help. Go to Tools and just go to the Add GRF. And there's Minelet, that, which I put on the desktop. If I go on Desktop over here, you see that there it is. So you save that in wherever you want and you can upload it onto any of your maps like that. And then when you upload it, it will be like this with the stake and all that and you can edit whatever you like, okay? But guys, that is pretty much it. There's not really a lot else to say about it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And yeah, it's a bit of a different one, but a lot of people have been requesting this and I can't really use Universal Minecraft Editor um, to show you this because it's not actually been updated yet but i'm sure it will be soon so anyway i'm damaris props thanks very much for watching this episode 14 thanks very much